lightweight matchup. The beautiful Ariani, lovely Brittany. Our crew here for the holiday weekend. Set for fight. Oliveira Ready. and Barboza. And here we go. Hafiello Oliveira in the black trunks. Blue trunks for Edson Barboza. He is a dynamic striker. Right away, a hard leg kick by Barboza. He will snap those off very quickly. Oliveira connects with the left there. Barboza for this fight, Joe, spent some time training in New Jersey with Henzo Gracie, Ricardo Almeida, Mark Henry, Frankie Edgar's team, basically. Said it really helped him broaden his game. Another hard leg kick by Barbosa. And, and again. Oh, and those add up, man. He's one of the few fighters in the UFC that stop guys with leg kicks. Oh, hard one to the body. I mean, right in his UFC debut, Joe, back in 2010, he had some vicious leg kicks that ended up stopping the fight against Mike Lulo at 26 seconds of the third. Yeah, that was a leg kick exhibition. A nasty left to the body there by Barbosa as well. Takedown attempt easily stuck. Oh! Man. That one buckled him Jose Aldo style. Yeah, that's the perfect description. Good movement, and Oliveira really has to close this distance, Mike. He can't take too many of those, or it's going to... Oh, nice right hand there by Oliveira. He, he can't take too many of those because it's really going to limit his ability to shoot. And you believe that really the, what, what he would like to do in this fight, Joe, is drag Barboza to the ground and use his jiu-jitsu. Yes, I believe that he will have a similar advantage in jiu-jitsu that Barboza has in striking. Oliveira. for it again. Oliveira is very talented on the ground. But, you know, you got to get this guy there. Using the height and reach advantage, pardon me, the height and reach advantage nicely is Barboza. And he's such a kicker, too. That's the thing about Barboza is the, the reach is even more so because he's on the outside with his legs. That's one thing we really need to figure out how to measure. We, we measure reach the same way boxing does. Yeah. I, I think that's nice spinning back kick to the body. I think that's a, a disservice to the kickers. You know, a lot of times, Joe, if you're worried about being on your back, you don't throw a ton of kicks. Obviously, Barboza is not concerned. His takedown defense is excellent. His sprawls are excellent, and he's got great footwork as well. And Oliveira lands a kick of his own. Oh, man, those are hard. You hear Mike Constantino yelling, get in the phone booth, and want him to yeah. really close the distance, but that is so easily said and not very easily done. Just excellent footwork being displayed by Barboza here. Yes, he's not. he doesn't have that sort of like plodding, flat-footed Muay Thai style. He's always on the balls of his feet, constantly moving. And evolving as an athlete, he looks bigger and stronger tonight than we've seen in the past. Well, as does Hoffy. Uh, Oliveira looks bigger, too. He looks uh, very fit. This nice is a big switch. fight for both of these guys. Oh, man. And Oliveira, we, we can only see the bottom of his leg peeking out from under his trunks, but it's already swollen and red. 25 total strikes landed by Edson Barboza. That was close. Hoppy closed the distance there and got a hold of him, but man, another hard leg kick. Yeah, he's smearing 20 leg kicks landing. That's incredible. I mean, it's, it's really hard for the folks at home to understand this because you're seeing Oliveira move around well and he still looks fine. He's in agony right now. He's just masking it by his movements. He's trying to slide away from them now, but every time he steps on that leg, I guarantee you he's feeling it. And Joe, as you mentioned, Barboza, which is Glimpse. one of five fighters in UFC history to finish a fight with kicks. He's in trouble right now, Mike. He's, he's in, in big trouble. Yeah, Mike, that left again. leg started, he started limping on that left leg. And again. He's trying to mask it. See, he's trying to like hop and make it a part of his movement, but he's limping right now. Yeah. Interesting that he hasn't changed his stance to at least try to get that lead leg out of the way a bit. He landed a right hand there, but you're seeing him not able to push off that left leg anymore. And he eats another one. Man. Brilliant game plan and strategy by Bobos. He hit a left hook there, though. 
Hoffy connected with a right as well. Big first oh, round. Oh, the wheel kick. Barboza excellent in round one. Water, 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 water. Let me go first. Yep. All right, sit down. Listen, Hoppy, you felt this best. You got to listen to me. You got to listen to me. Don't, no, look at me, look at me. Hoppy, you felt it. No one and out. I need you to come, go, go, go. I need you to go. I need you to throw combos, okay? When he kicks, don't reach. He's going to come upstairs with that. And you just check. And your elbows, tight to the body. You got to stay tight. Hoppy, if you let your hands go, brother, you're gonna, you gotta get on. You're gonna win. You gotta let your hands go. Your hands don't wait. Win. Don't wait for him to get the kicks. You're doing great. You're hurting him, but then you're stopping. I need you to hit him and then go again and Take again. Your and instead again. of going over top, start bringing him straight here and make sure you get your draw back fast. You're starting to throw and drop your hands. Don't drop your hands. Fit antes da canelada, porque ele tá querendo botar com a direita. Então, vamos lá, ele vai ter essa mão esquerda. Ele vai ter essa mão esquerda. Ele vai ter essa mão esquerda. Disciplina com essa barba, Júlio. Disciplina com a barba. Change the speed on the way out. Take a look at this wheel kick that almost landed, just grazed over the head of Oliveira. And. What an exhibition that first round was for Edson Barbosa. Mike Constantino in the corner of Rafael Alavera said, you've got to throw some combos. You've got to get inside and work in tight distance as he knocked down again. Edson, they just said, continue to do the same, but when you throw your kicks, don't drop your hands. Be careful. It's interesting what you pointed out that he has not switched his stance. He still has that left leg forward. You can see how nasty. Oh, he's got him down. He's got Barbosa down. Can he grab a hold of him? Wow. Excellent. Yeah, right back up. Excellent defense there by Barbosa. Great scramble. Hoffy, let your boxing go. That's what I was talking about with the instructions of Constantino. It's in Barbosa. I mean, more than anything, Joe, he's fun to watch. Yeah, he really is. He's one of the more dynamic kickboxers in the UFC. Yeah, he believes he will be a champion at 155. Look at, the, knees look at the swelling on that leg. Oh, oh, man. You could hear that one. That is one of the nastiest legs. I mean, you're only seeing like a little piece of it, but one of the nastiest visions of damage from leg kicks that I can remember in a long time. You're seeing horrible yeah, swelling. That one, that one got him again. Look at the swelling on that thing. Uriah Faber, Jose Aldo. I mean, he's a one-legged fighter right now. I can't. Yeah, he, he, he can't do it crazy. much longer. That's it. That's, That's it. it. And it's all over. Edson Barboza finishes a fight via leg kicks once again. He might be the only guy we've ever seen to stop two fights by leg kicks. We're going to have to go to the stats to find that out. Well, he was one of five, Joe, yeah. coming in, so I, I would imagine you're exactly right. He's, Amazing. He is the first, first to do, to it, do twice. it twice. He's a monster, man. Yeah. That kid is a monster. Very, very impressive. You told me. The first man to stop a fight twice due to leg kicks. Our move of the fight brought to you by Metro PCS. 4G for all. And when people say that I make too much of leg kicks, it's because I know there's people like Edson Barbosa around. And when a guy <laughs> when a guy can do that, I mean, that is one of the most difficult things to deal with as a fighter, when one leg is just completely shot and you can't stop the guy from hammering that shin. Now, fans, don't forget that you can vote on what you believe will be the best move of the night. Tweet and let us know at hashtag MetroMove.